All right, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I spent freaking hours making that. That's hilarious. Isn't that cool? Does this open? Yeah. Oh, it's Velcro? I have Velcro on there, yeah. <laughs> oh, you got more in here? Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <What the> <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what just happened? <laughs> My son and his girlfriend, Blaine and Darian, they came over yesterday evening. I wasn't allowed to say anything yet, but they came over to give me a uh, birthday gift and you already saw what it was well for the most part Blaine made me this it is obviously an Ohio Bicentennial Barn um, a model he made out of uh, what do you call these things popsicle sticks and moss and if you look at the back neat in the morning <laughs> but when I opened it this is what I saw inside about a month or so ago, I made a post on Facebook. I may have even told you guys about it in videos, I don't remember. But I like all of a sudden started craving sausage and pickles. This is the post I made on Facebook. And I tagged my daughter and both of my son's girlfriends. And uh, the last night they had that and this inside the barn. So Blaine and Darian are having a baby. She is apparently due in September. I believe she said September 29th. So I will be a pappy for the third time. Unbelievable. The family is growing, guys. <laughs> Good morning guys. I just got done cleaning up these uh, trays that we're going to use here and I'm getting everything ready because the little is coming over to help me create her custom, I don't know, TV trays, <laughs> craft trays, whatever you want to call them. So as soon as she gets here, we will uh, we'll get started. This is going to be fun. Okay, so we got little over here coloring with grandma in our, uh, what is it, Paw Patrol book? Are you coloring yellow bones? No, Rubble's bones. Oh, Rubble's bones. Rubble's bones. <laughs> Guess what? There we go. Go down the hallway. Go down the hallway? Okay, so here's the deal. My mom took Little across the street to her house. She's showing her the bunny and stuff like that over there. She's going to be gone a little bit. So we're going to prepare some of this stuff while she's gone. Um, what I have here is the art pad that I picked up yesterday. It's just white paper. And we're going to basically use this kind of like a paper mache. It's called decoupage. You basically use Mod Podge. You paint it onto the item. In this case, it's going to be these pans. You paint it on there, and then you just put your strips of paper on there like it's uh, paper mache. The corners here are going to be kind of tough. And, you know, this is like, that there is going to be tough too. <laughs> you can see how there, there's little nooks and crannies that we have to fill there. But we're going to do it. It's going to be fun. So let me get to tearing up some of this paper here. 
and uh, we'll get as much of this done here before Little comes back. Now this paper is just about perfect because it's really thin. It's not even as thick as sketch paper. So this is just perfect here. Just gonna tear off little pieces like that. And you'll notice like when you have paper, you can tear it at different angles. This will give you long strips like that. And that's better for the long flat surface. But when you have the, the smaller surface in the corners here, you want to have smaller pieces like this so that it can mold right into the corner there. You see what I mean? Because you want it to fold all the way over there. And you have to paint that Mod Podge on like it's glue. So let me get the tear in here and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got several different sizes of these torn up. I got some long ones here. I have a pile of like just little scrappy ones for the corners. I have bigger chunky ones here. And basically what I like to do is go through and separate all these, make them easier yeah, to grab. I know that's kind of gross doing that guys, but I need to have like a wet sponge or something to be pulling these apart. Because once you, once you get your uh, Mod Podge going, that stuff is really sticky. It's basically like glue. So it gets really difficult to pull these apart when your hands have that stuff all over them. So I like to make these as loose as I possibly can. So there we go. And I'll do that with each pile here so that I can easily grab one at a time when my hands are sticky with that Mod Podge. Okay, so here's what we got. We're gonna use the big one here. And as you can see, I scrubbed it up really good to get any of this black stuff off of here that might prevent this stuff from sticking. We got our different sizes and shapes of paper over there, Mod Podge, paintbrush, and then I got this cup here that I just cut the top off. We can pour the Mod Podge in there, and that'll make it much easier to access. Like I said, this stuff is so sticky, so the lid was really tight on there, but it's just like glue. It looks like Elmer's glue. See what I mean? Smells like it, too. I got a piece of cardboard on here to prevent any of this stuff getting on my table. If you remember in grade school when you would take the Elmer's glue and you would put it on your hand and let it dry and then you could peel it off and it looked like skin, that's what this stuff does. So basically all we're gonna do is use our paintbrush, get a good amount of it on there because you want it to be thick. Remember, it's gonna be just like a paper mache and then you start painting it on wherever you want to stick the stuff. So we're going to start with this corner over here. A nice thick coat. And then we're going to start taking pieces here and sticking it on. I want to leave a little bit hanging off the side so we have enough to wrap under. And every one that you put down, you have to put a little bit Mod Podge on top of it to secure it. Plus you're going to be putting more paper on it. That will also soak through that paper and it will uh, it'll help it to stick on there. I'll give you a close-up of this in just a second. Now here's the messy part. Once you start getting this stuff on here, especially around the corners, you want to take your fingers and smash it down. Rub it in there because you are gluing it onto this pan or whatever item you're using. And when you're doing uh, decoupage, you can do this with anything. Man, I've done with this with skateboards and boots like Doc Martens. I made decoupage Doc Martens before. <laughs> I think this is one of the most fun kind of crafts to do. This and paper mache. Okay, now I've got just this little corner done I want to show you. You see how that's molding right into the corner there? That's exactly how you want it. Your hands start getting covered with this stuff and it gets pretty difficult. And you gotta keep putting fresh coats on to keep it wet and sticky. But as you get to the straight edges, then you can use bigger pieces and it goes faster. You can even take these pieces and dip them in the glue and then just go like this so that it's coated. 
that will help it mold a lot easier. Just run your finger down it. That puts a little coat on there. And then you can put it right in place there. Just gluing each piece into place. And then you can go back over it with your, with your brush. Okay guys, so here is the whole perimeter of the pan done. Now, a couple things I wanna point out. Here's the corners where I said you had to be real meticulous. Use your fingers and mold into those corners. I mean, regardless of whatever you're doing, if it has corners, you gotta mold it in. The other thing is leaving enough hanging off the sides to be able to fold over onto the bottom. Because remember, we have this whole part here that we have to be able to fold over and mold onto there as well. Yeah, it's a big job, <laughs> and it takes a long time. That probably took me about 20 minutes to do, because I'm used to doing it. But um, if you're not used to doing it, plan on that much right there, taking about 45 minutes, if you even make it through that without throwing the pan out the window. So while this part is still relatively wet, we're going to put down even more. Because like I said, you got to keep putting it down. It dries fast. And, and it's just like Elmer's glue. And then you can just start pasting these on. First couple ones you can put anywhere you want because you don't have to have glue over top. But you're basically just doing paper mache. Once you start overlapping, you got to start putting more glue on. Okay, guys, so here's the inside with that layer on. Now the cool thing is you can do anything you want with this. I mean, like we could take colored paper and tear it up. You could use all one color. You could use several colors and put it on there and it would look really cool no matter what. I honestly haven't decided what I want to do with this yet, but I do know that I want to take um, some of the little dogs from the coloring book after little colors them, or maybe I'll color one myself. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe we'll put a mixture and then we will just glue them in there and put a coat of Mod Podge over top of that too, and that will seal it. Okay, we got a little helper here. I'm thinking we're gonna get a whole lot of glue on this. <laughs> what we decided to do was use yellow and put it down here in the bottom of the pan to give it a, back, a, yellow, black, a, a yellow background. Okay, I think you have enough, honey. Just one more. Okay, go ahead. Good job. What a good job you're doing. Thanks. Thank you, honey. Okay, can I do it now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Is that enough? No, not yet. Okay, now why are you doing this? Ta a pappy finger. Okay, that's a pappy finger, but why did you color it? With this. Yeah, but why? It's Layla Finger and Pappy Finger. Layla Finger and Pappy Finger? Can I see Layla Finger? Yes. Oh, I see. <laughs> Layla Finger and Pappy Finger. Pappy Finger, where are you? I'm right here, blue, blue, blue. Where are you? <laughs> hey, do you want to play with me? Um, sure. What you doing, play? I don't know. What are you doing? Um, playing with my mama. <laughs> okay, Little just went home. Tiny went home from the hospital. Um, they basically just said keep watching her. So this is what we have done so far. Let me show you this here. We both colored the dog in the middle. She had colored the bones with my mom, if you remember. And so we glued those on there. You can see there's a couple of ripples in here. That happens if you don't get all the air out while you're gluing it. 
And, uh, you know, with a little running around here is a little bit difficult to do that. So <laughs> that's how it is so far. And that is still wet right now. It was dry enough I was able to get a picture with little for the thumbnail. But um, once that dries up, then I'll be able to flip it over and I'll be able to fold the other ones underneath. And I'm going to, uh, you know, decoupage the whole bottom and everything too and seal it. And then it will be ready for her and she can use that for like meals, for her, uh, you know, a tray for food. Or she can paint pictures on it or color on it or have markers on it or whatever without them rolling all over the floor. So, I don't know. Oh my gosh, guys. I didn't even know where I left off filming. Um, I think it was right after Little had left. Man, I got all the lights on in the dang house. <laughs> what in the world? This place is a disaster, man. Anyways, yeah, so I've been packing things for eBay here and, you know, just doing everything I need to do. So, get these packages ready to go out tomorrow. A couple more to get ready tonight, but actually I think I'm going to do it tomorrow because I'm so way super tired. So, let me show you this thing again here. I showed it to you right after we finished putting it together. Um, this is how it looks right now after the glue is almost dry. It's just a little bit sticky. Too sticky yet to turn over and finish the bottom and, you know, wrap these around in that. So, I will get that finished up. But, that's how it is for now. So... It actually didn't turn out too bad, you know, for how simple that is. Um, and that'll be good for her to put food on and, you know, like I said earlier, markers and crayons and stuff like that. I think that's it, guys. I'm wrapping it up. I am tired. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even think straight. Wherever you guys are waking up, whatever time it is, make the best of your day. Do something for somebody else. Pay it forward. Let's make this world a better place. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.